Hello. Stay number 427. Just kidding. I'm fishing with Jay today on one of my favorite lakes, Lake Barcroft. Yay. Woo. There's really not a theme to today's video. We're just gonna go out and do some good old fashioned bass fishing. We're gonna try fishing to- Fish in unconventional ways. Oh yeah, and that, that is something we are gonna try to do today. So I didn't really have any plans, and then Jay was telling me that he caught bass on a cane pole with a Senko on it. So I'm gonna try that later on in the day. But first I wanna try to catch some fish on the frog. Oh, he also brought a fly rod. I've never even held a fly, a fly rod, so that should be pretty funny if I get to throw that thing around later, so. Let's get out here and see what happens. Bring his fly rod around. Whoa, sorry. I'm gonna start with the frog, because I want some top water. There he is. Look at that little guy. Look at that. Caught a fish and a tree, there he comes. Little guy, first fish of the day. We'll take the small ones to get the bigger ones. So a few people asked me what frog I was throwing last time I was out here, and this is the live target frog. I'm not sure of the exact size. I think this is the medium sized one. Don't know the color either, but it's black back, yellow belly, some brown, black, and yellow legs on here, or skirt, I guess. Oh, wow. Jay is hooked up. But it's a sunny. Dude, that's a big one though. It's awesome, man. That is a big sunny. <laughs> that's a pretty looking fish. Couple flips on the way. Got him. Yeah. Hey -o. Catching fish on the run. <laughs> oh yeah. Bass man jig. We are just like moving spots and I'm flipping as we go. Man, these hooks are so good on this thing. Nice little one and a half pounder. See ya. All right, so I caught that fish on a PB&J with a little bit of orange bass man jig and I have the net bait pocket chunk Bama bug on the back as a trailer. That might be a fish. Yes, it is. Got him. Oh yeah, he's solid. Look at that fatty. Oh, right. That's a solid fish. Look at him. Smoke the jig. I saw my line just taken off. That's a pretty fish. Belly, belly, belly. See ya. Uh-oh. Jigs all day? Jigs all day, Jay. Jay hates me. Got it? Oh, it's a stick. It's a, I just fought a stick all the way back. <laughs> Thought it was a fish. Uh, it's a stick on a jig. It's a stick. Get him. Nice. Oh, that's a good bass too, man. Frog time. Dude, he choked it. Look how deep that frog is in that thing's mouth. Okay. Well, Jay just caught a frog fish. That was a good one too. Solid. I'm gonna pick up the frog again. Maybe they're starting to move up. Ooh, there's gonna be one up in there. There's gotta be. Right? Oh. There it is. <laughs> yeah, frog bite. <laughs> oh, I hope it's another one of these days. See ya. He's got it? No. He's got it now. There he is. Oh, he's good. I think he's biting like this. That's just crazy. That's another solid little pound and a half fish. Close to two, pound and three quarters. <laughs> oh, that's a solid fish right there. It's the biggest one of the day. Oh, no. Whoops. Four, yeah, it was, it was probably three and a half or four. He looked really skinny. I don't think I paid ten for it. Maybe I did. Some just eat it. Didn't even notice that. I wasn't even paying attention. Little guy. Oops. Damn it. <laughs> it's okay. In the last ten minutes, we've had four fish on. They're starting to hit the frog, which is so much fun. I think it's gonna be another frog day. I can't put this thing down if they're biting it. 
little two pounder. Oh, maybe a little bigger. Ow, two. Solid two pound fish. Frog bite. Oh, yeah. So much fun. I can't put it down. We're fishing frogs all day. All right. Fish number eight. It's another. God. Jeez, these are some good fish. This is just. Yeah. What the hell? Oh. <laughs> his fin got stuck in his gill. I'm gonna try a different frog. The only other frog that I have, actually. I'm gonna try this frog out. I don't know what brand it is, but my cousin Drew gave it to me. If you guys remember Drew, he's nine now. I took him out to Lake Audubon last year in the fall, and he smoked him on Senkos. I'm gonna get him out here again soon. But thanks for the frog, Drew. Hopefully we can get some fish on this bad boy. Let's see how it works. Got him. Awesome. Perfect. Another two pounder. Hell yeah. Thanks to the frog, Drew. It works. Oh, I hit the leaf. That's good luck. Got him. Drew's frog. That's what we're going to call this one because I don't know the actual name of the company. Here we go. Number 10. That's a good one. All right. There we go. That's a good one. I'm going to quick wait on this fish. Number 11. 3.43. Caught that on Drew's frog. Thanks, dude. See ya. Oh my god, get him! You got him? That's that's a giant, dude. That's a pig. That, that sounded huge. <laughs> no. Ah, oh, it sucks. Dude, that, that was, was a crazy. that was a giant man. You scared her. She's like, what? <laughs> <laughs> Probably thought like we fell in or something. That's what it sounded like. That fish hit it so hard it sounded like you fell out of the boat. Alright, we're taking a quick break. And I want to show you the frog that we're catching them on. I don't know what brand this is. But my cousin Drew gave me that frog as I've said. That's what I caught the biggest one of the day on. And I also caught a few on the live target. Um, Jay has also been throwing a live target and a spro popping frog and getting bit as well. These fish are super shallow, they're pushed up against these wood retaining walls and any sort of shade seems to be where they're really hanging around so if you ever get on a top water bite like this, it's exhilarating first of all. Second of all, just keep trying to key in on what sort of banks they're hitting on and if it's around shade or wood or rock, whatever, just keep that in mind. Oh, he's a good one. Oh, it just popped off. Dang it. That was a good fish. Well, I just about beat this frog to hell. I'm going to switch it up back to the live target. Oh. Nice Oh, God. Tried to boat flip him, that didn't work. That would have been number 11 or something. Got him? Nice. Oh, there you go. Nice catch. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Frogging. Is that number 11? Something. They'll be here, somewhere. Oh, I saw him. That was crazy. I saw him come up. Yeah, that was nuts. Oh man, these are like all about the same size, like two that pounders, that but they're healthy. For sure, look at that bloody gill on the side. Seeing him thirteen. Got 
These dudes are just hammering this frog. It's a solid two and three quarter fish. Boom. See ya. Well, that was a little bit further than I anticipated it to go. Do it. Oh, this frog is so deep in his throat. Come here. There we go. It's a solid three pounder. Jeez, he absolutely smoked it. It's so deep. Good bite. See ya. <laughs> oh my god. Did you see the wake coming up to the frog? That was awesome. 17. He smoked it. Jeez. I don't know what to say anymore. The frog bite's on. Camera turned off randomly. Oh, that's a that's another three pounder. <laughs> I just was messing with the camera because it randomly turned off. So I stopped reeling and this fish just came up and sucked it down. Number 18. That's another, it's about a three pounder. Two, three, two and three quarters, three pounder. So sick. Eighteen. God, this is fun. Here's a fish under it. Oh, there you go. Got him. Nice. One. Hey, that's okay. Hey, careful with those trebles, little boy. <laughs> nice catch. This. So I'm just giving this frog really light taps with the rod so it walks the, walks the dog back to the boat. And then every once in a while, I'll pause it and let it sit for like five to 10 seconds. And a lot of the times, they've been hitting it on that pause. Same thing's been happening to Jay with his uh, spook. Is it spook? Yeah, a little tiny spook. A little tiny spook. He was letting it sit earlier, for, just like talking to me, and looked back and had a humongous explosion on it. Hit it so hard it blasted his bait like three feet out of the water. So you can see I'm casting it out to as close as I can to the wood. Slowly giving the rod little taps and reeling at the same time. Like a little half quarter reel per pop. They are so aggressive, dude. They are. Number 20. Little guy. But that's 20 fish for the day. See you, my friend. Thank you. 21. There you go. There you go. Doubled up. Oh, that one's a that's a better fish too. Nice. Top water double up. Oh yeah. There we go. The old top water double. Back across the lake. Pop. Oh, that one feels better. Yeah. Oh it is. Nice. The legs better. Oh, that's a Nice. <laughs> Dude, that's three fish in that one little pocket. Yeah, post-spawn fish. A little beat up. 22. Oh, whoa. Oh my God. Dude. Oh, that's awesome. That's a fat one. a little fatty. 23. I saw that fish and like as I threw in and I was like, oh dude, there's a fish right there. And as soon as it hit the water, he came over and smoked it. Awesome. 23. 24. They're just relentless. They hate this frog. They hate it. A fish just came out of all that gunk and smoked it. Wow, look how dark that, I have never seen a bass that black. I was like, what is that? Oh. Oh, 20 
six. The handle came off again. Shoot. Oh, I'm worn out. That was fun. And that was the last cast. We're done. What a day. What? <laughs> Another ridiculously awesome day on Lake Barkov. The topwater fishing was absurd. I know I said I wanted to try to catch a fish on that cane pole, but I just couldn't put the rod down because they were hitting the frog so good. That was awesome. 26 fish, the majority of them coming on the topwater. Awesome day. Jay? Rip it. <laughs> Not sure where we're going next, but see you soon. I think Ace and I are fishing Friday. See you then. Angry dog. <laughs> <laughs>